Well, techies and techettes, we're looking at a brand new driver of optimism. Nvidia is definitely giving us a platform that was a little rocky and, well, unfortunately, it made a lot of our optimization for older GPUs almost darn unusable. From stuff on the war zone, war field, down to the portions of just non-enabling inside of certain games for the hardware accelerator not working, and I mean, the list goes on. My name is Mac, we are the MacGyver 7 channel, and today what we're going to be looking at is the patch notes and some benchmarks. Starting off right now, it's looking pretty good for as far as the way we're going to see the hardware accelerator work with ray tracing. So to give you a glimpse of what the benchmarks are going to be, let's go ahead and jump into our patch notes for the 456 dot seven one and their four five five series of drivers now to get started i'll have all these linked down below that you can actually utilize for the four five five series to know more of the technical notes but where i'm going to be pulling up my stuff is going to be reddit and this is where i utilize on all of my benchmarks right over here in 3d mark but let's get a better seat and jump in over here as we can see a better pull up of the four five six dot seven one the game ready driver is more optimized for as far as the open beta for Call of Duty's Black Ops when it comes to the Cold War. You'll have the reflex in beta and being able to reduce the latency to get a better response and gameplay. Divinity Origin Sins 2 comes into a hardware accelerator issue that has been resolved, though we will be getting into the benchmarks of everything later on and you'll be seeing some situations that will not line up for as far as the hardware accelerator's friendliness in this driver but pushing back for as far as the g-sync we'll see full screen modes may trigger a black screen that is adaptive within the sync of that g-sync monitor when it's enabled so unfortunately you may have to turn it off but no more they're saying that they fixed this along with the hardware accelerator situation so yay us Fortnite also comes into a major crash with the shadow reflex on some notebooks, and that configuration is no more. Now, the open issues that we've seen throughout the day, as you can see, motorsport comes down to an open issue a lot, and a lot of these issues are also less than 60 frames, integrated graphics, even down to the portion of where some workarounds are lowering your 4K. So, if you are plagued by an issue that's still there, I definitely do encourage you guys and gals to take a look down below to see if these afflicted issues are there. Um, some of them are game specific, so take a look at it, but some of them were newer, like the shuttering in YouTube for as far as scrolling down and then trying to fix it past just what the plugins were for just the browser interface but let's go ahead and take a look at some benchmarks now that we've cleared our patch a closer look at what we intro directly into the ray tracing ability for port royale you can see that it definitely does give a leg up for the hardware accelerator though that definitely does end when we look at the fire strike testing as we are greeted with a little bit lower than average score Looking at the driver to driver though, it is looking pretty cool, but let's see what ends up happening with the overclocking ability where we're putting under load and you're having a lot more enabled inside of those settings in your games. You'll see that unfortunately it falls short. It definitely seems that it will favor the hardware accelerator if you are doing some heavier loads, but it seems like the overclocking ability may have gotten its headroom kicked out, which might have been a simple solver for what they were trying to do where they're like hey we are having people that are having bad performance it is something where we need to cater to our 30 series too so they probably just took out the overclocking headroom so that allows people to actually utilize the cards it's kind of a bummer when a company has to do that but that is just my speculation through benchmarks and looking at it score to score now looking at the driver under 4k with the direct x11 shows a different result and that result does look good as we look a little bit closer inside of this where 4k stands out even with the hardware accelerator on or off well unfortunately it seems like that driver is going to be replaced the older one is no more finally gets us some 4k over room which would make sense why they are giving this with the newer series of 30 being aimed at 4k to 8k so they need to have a really good optimized software set in order to make this driven um, now looking at directx 12 there is a complete different tale this is why i'm saying that you utilize the non-hardware accelerator on standard it's going to be really great because 
Seems like with Time Spy and the portion of testing with Fire Strike, it favors that. As you can see driver to driver, yes, you are getting better performance, but you are gonna be capping this. And this could be something later on down the road where Windows gives a better optimized circumvent on their 3.5 framework or the framework that is above that on top of some security drivers that can even tank it sometimes that's why unfortunately we literally have to live on the edge of our seat as we are trying to game if it be on the ecosystem we're playing but let's go ahead and take a look at the 4k results and we can see a little bit more extreme stuff happening as yes it definitely does beat that driver they <laughs> can say goodbye to the 456.55 because the 71 is coming in with a little bit more glimpse of sun we can get some 4k a little bit ray tracing in your eyes you know hey it sounds like a really good way to actually be able to get this done but again the standard version of windows is going to work totally fine so basic wrap up everyone is this driver good yes you should install it i've tested it out through a few different ways of from my 1060 to my 1070 ti to my 3080 ti now little friendly reminders i did notice that the 70 series had an issue with installing it it may just be across certain platforms if that is the case if you're going through the installer and it's not installing just go to the website download their software and install it that was my workaround it worked perfect and they did interlude to that being an issue too so make sure that you definitely get a hold of that software to upgrade because this is worth installing to optimize some of the older drivers now we are going to see some major issues still open with a little bit of the warzone still out there i know unfortunately you might want to roll back to an older driver which i think a community has kind of said 431.60 was a really good one uh, if i remember correct that should be a good lean back for as far as that. I know it is a throwback, but it is something that can be optimized. But if you're running into issues again, just Google it. There should be an optimized driver eventually that you can kind of come into. Uh, but the 455 series is a tough one to swallow. But my name is Mac. See you guys and gals in the near future. If you're new to the network, you can always subscribe. Absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe South Park will actually get like their next game oh that'd be cool i would totally play that that'd be amazing but you'll have to subscribe to find out i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and remember to have your hardware accelerator off for right now until well windows is a little circumvent and i'll probably do a mid patch at that point in time to see the performance once we actually see some uplift on that but see you later everyone